Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Jonathan is Bad at Games, where I want to have just ingested pizza, so my mouth is a little swimming with shit that it probably shouldn't be while I'm trying to commentate, and I've also... Pizza is not good. If you're recording, do not eat pizza. That is flimming up my throat something fierce. And my mouth is like making my spit thick. I don't know why I needed a hand gesture for that, but there you go. Another thing that I've been dealing with is that my game decided to crash mid-recording. Not the game, the recorder, actually. Uh, several times. I've already seen the twist that's about to come up here. I was right about that being a person, by the way. He doesn't seem to have anything to say about it. He just kind of stares at her blankly. She flips me off, tells me to go home, back to the country where I came from. Back to where I belong, essentially, which is... Well, that was either a vivid hallucination, or I'm not alone on this planet. Way to sound impressed with your surroundings. For a guy who thought he was completely alone on an abandoned planet, you sure are very calm about seeing another life form, just like there. I'm assuming it's human because she shouted what I believe to be Russian. I don't speak Russian, so for all I know it's gibberish, but I'm going to assume it's Russian since it says that it's auto-translated from Russian. I also learned that if you wander far enough away from the audiobooks, you can just, like, ignore them completely. Which is nice, because if it followed me, I'd be really upset right now. So I'm just gonna start talking over them as I move away from them, and once I get far enough away from them, I will read what they said in English, apparently. Despite the hesitations of our scientists, I increased the KW kilowatt, for those of you at home who aren't scientifically inclined like myself of our electrical generators by 200% without any noticeable environmental reaction. The reproductive rate of the moss-like species we call the green fire appears to be quite high and we theorize that it must also serve as a source of nutrients for the other plant life on the planet. To alleviate the concerns of the scientists, I have returned to the generators to normal output, but the result, and then he says something else ineligible, find myself wondering if the abundance of power is not in and well where did it go I made the mistake of touching that is not in and of itself a deterrent of warfare would our would our enemies lower their weapons if they knew our reactors would never power down what level of accomplishment would they feel in their flag on the moon if all they could see looking back at the earth was the continuous glow of the mighty Soviet Union. Nuclear weapons seem like the clubs of barbarians compared to the scientific potential we have seen here. More families are arriving to be with the men. Our society blossoms into an extension of the motherland. A new motherland. This is what the great writers of our age must have felt while regarding their creations. Perfection. Someone's a pretentious... Twat. I almost said twat. I've decided that I'm not going to censor myself as much as I have been just because, like, I'm a person who my flow of consciousness involves a lot of profanity just because that's the kind of person that I am. So, some of it's going to be, like, uncalled for. Some of it's just going to be crude and blatant. But that's, that's pretty much how it's got to be if I want to get anything out at all. Otherwise, I'm spending way too much time thinking about what I'm saying and not actually saying anything. Who are you? Where is she? That's all. That's all I have to say to you, lady. No ladder? No way up. And it's busted. I thought if I came over here, I ignored it the first time. I was like, that's the way it wants me to go. But then again, I also thought I saw a ladder, and there does not appear to be a ladder to get up there. So she's just gonna chill there while I go do other things, I guess. Which is okay with me. I don't necessarily need her with me. I don't even know her name. And this is whereabouts the game crashed. So hopefully we're not going to be repeating anything anytime soon. Hopefully I'm going to be okay. And relatively uncrashed. Relatively. It can crash a little bit as long as it's okay. Oh. For those of you wondering, 
probably not many. Um, the issue that I had was open broadcaster software was something about NVIDIA and uh, texture maps were not loading correctly or something like that. Oh good. Oh good. Did I? Am I? Am I stuck? No, I'm not stuck. Which is very good for me. I did also learn that falling is fatal if it's too big of a fall. So we're just... Oh. Oh, now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck. I did it. I found it. Let's... Good God. I would just like one thing to go right with this playthrough. Just one. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'll see you guys in a few seconds once I get this all sorted out. Okay, so where are we? We have found the Iron Mines of RuneScape. That is what we have found. Perhaps it is blood, but I'm gonna go with Iron Mines because that sounds nicer. Oh, I was wrong. There are garnets. Also, I found sul sulfur. A nice specimen of the ninth most common element in the universe. This particular mineral is quite large and suggests a sedimentary origin associated with ancient marine deposits. I can only imagine the vast oceans that might once have covered the planet. This planet. And we also have garnets. Initial analysis indicates almandine or pyrope garnets in a mica schist typical of the minerals formed deep underground at very high pressure. If confirmed, this suggests active plate tectonic activity in the planet's crust, which could contribute to an environment more hospitable for life. Excellent. Excellent findings! I'm just gonna climb this garnet. That's a lot of garnet. Is garnet valuable? Because if so, I am in the money. What are we doing down here? Where'd all my garnet go? This isn't garnet, this is just lifeless rock. I don't want this anymore. Let's go back to the garnet where we're wealthy. Oh, what is she doing? Look, look, you're being a show off. Don't you know those cables are probably electrified? You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna die, and it's all gonna be on my hands because I was not able to follow you and put you out of your stupidity. Oh boy. I hope this game can continue to hold my interest because it's it's setting itself up really well, but I have seen that reviews are not too kind to it. It seems that they are getting, it's getting like a, uh, not even a C, it's like a D in terms of American grades. Got like a 60 in one review and like a, similarly around like 70 to 50-ish. a lot of the complaints where it did well story building but then it didn't have the substance to back it up which is unfortunate because it's a really interesting premise which they've all agreed jetpack fuel collected extended boost mode oh that's nice all right time for some serious jetpacking my jetpack sure wasn't made for low gravity jumping, but it does help me across larger gaps. I've found the trick to space out, is to space out the jet burst from maximum distance. If I repeat the burst too quickly, it just uses up my charge before it has time to recover, and I don't get very high. Now I have to decide if I want to go back down below for an easy jump or take the exciting and dangerous route from here. Are you trying? Oh, you're trying to get me. You're trying to present me with a challenge. Well, let's go. Let's fucking go. I'm not afraid of you. Here I go. Oh. Also, the turning is a little weird, but anyway. Aha! Bitch. <laughs> I didn't know I had that much. I thought I had three. I thought three was the number that I was going to be able to use, but it turns out I had a little more than three.
what's up here? Absolutely nothing. So much for rewarding me to be for being an explorer, which is the Steve ach Steam achievement I got, which I'm guessing is for making the jump, the big exciting but dangerous jump. But oh well, oh well. Almondine garnets. Further samples of the garnets confirm that they are of the almondine variety, common on Earth, but these are atypically large. Rock matrix is metamorphic, likely caused by mountain building. Again, suggesting an active geologic past for this planet. Great! Geology is important. But not that important. I don't actually care about the geology of this planet. I am much more interested in that lady. Where did she go? Did she already walked all that way while I was goofing around? I hope not, because it looks like she met a fatal end. As opposed to, like, a non-fatal end. Wait, so what am I doing here? How am I supposed to be going further down? Is that what I needed to do? I can't tell. But I'm gonna go with yes. Oh! Not, not, I was not talented enough. There we go. There we go. Now we're, now we're cooking with fire. Did she go down there? I can only imagine. Did I just go bop, 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 like subconsciously? Because if I did, I hate myself. You see, you can't get very high with the several bursts in a row, but I seem to be doing okay for myself. How did she get down? I mean, I don't understand how she got up, but how she got down is equally confusing. I'm assuming she got down. That's what this green stuff is, right? Like, she carries it with her? I thought that was a bird, but I forgot I was on a dead rock with only another human being to comfort me. It looks like a jumping off point. Oh, now it doesn't. Now it just looks like it was some viewpoint put there conspicuously by developers in order to get you to say, wow, what a beautiful landscape this game has. You did a really smash up, smash bang job. Whatever the development company was, I read when I bought it, but I already forgot. Oh look, rainbows. Double rainbow. What does that mean? Good question. Oh my god. How do I get up there? Do I get up there? Do I get up there? Do I go this way? They do a really good job of hiding paths behind walls. Like, that's the first place I would look if I wanted to go somewhere is behind a wall of seemingly immovable objects. Need to be careful because, again, I can die from great heights, even though it seems that gravity is relatively low compared to Earth. All these zigzaggy paths. He's got, like, the stamina of a trooper, though. Like, if we're honest, if we're honest, this dude has just been, like, running the whole time. I'm guessing that's where it wants me to go. Oh, what did I think I was going to? Did I think I was going somewhere else? I don't know. I, I saw something coming up here where I was like, okay, I'm going to go there first, but it, I'll be damned if I can remember what it was, so we're going to go... Okay, don't look down. Don't look down. Do look down, bro. What are you worried about? Oh, yeah, run. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, good God. These cables are miraculously stable for something that are, in fact, cables. Let's look straight down. Oh, you're not going to let me. All right, I'm on to you, game. That confirms it. This is not planet Earth. What confirms it? 
Oh, probably that stuff. Yeah. I actually have to look down in order to see where he's walking because he might just meander off in the incorrect direction if I'm not careful. Let's take some time to soak in the sight of all these giant garnets. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Where am I going? Yes, hello? Yes, hi. Hello? Hello? I think I should stop following this place. Let's probably go this way. Good decision on my part if I do say so myself. Let's actually... Let's actually go this way and see if this is anywhere, if they just wanted me to see that she came down that way. I don't know why she went down that way. I guess she doesn't have the jetpack like I do. It's practically a superpower, except very useless. Ooh, we got a noise. We got music picking up. What does that mean? No one knows. Uh, oh god, not again. Why? Why is this a thing that's happening? Oh, don't overjump it. Don't overjump it. Oh my oh my god. In order to test and see if my game would crash, I went back through the game and I overjumped so many things, like just one after another, and it was like level 1. So I was getting a little I was getting a little salty to say jetpack fuel depleted, extended boost mode disabled. Oh. I was just starting to enjoy that. Yep, it's definitely been depleted. I just checked to see to be sure because I don't know, maybe they'd mess that up. Maybe. Maybe the notification would come up and they would be wrong. But they weren't wrong. And so I remain sad. Oh, okay. Now where are we going? This is not this is not where we need to go. Okay. Um why am I tilting my head like that? Oh yeah, so I can see beyond my hair because it decided that it was not going to be helpful today. Oh, no, 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 I did not want that. Yeah, I've been trying to keep my hair out of my face because it's been difficult to see. And I just, it just today it just didn't want to stay up like it has been. All the guys, all they, they all know what I'm talking about. Oh, good. Somebody had some fiber for their diet today. Oh my god, look at all the fiber they had. That's a poop joke for those of you who don't know, because it looks kind of like it looks like we're going through a colon that has been filled to the brim with uh, with fecal matter. Okay, so what's this say? The dam is sturdy and our reservoir will sustain us. It marvels me how little the tactics of colonization have changed in hundreds of years. We still require food and water to live, food, stone, and steel for shelter. It does not matter if we build on a distant planet or an island in the North Sea. It's all the same. Survival. What an astute opinion you have, document writer. 100% accurate. It's kind of like starting a new game in Minecraft. It doesn't matter if I know where the diamonds are if I don't build myself a house and like keep myself from dying to creepers. You know what I'm saying? Like that's pretty obvious. Of course you're going to have to start over and rebuild if you're starting in a blank slate regardless of what your knowledge is. But my guess is your settling came a lot easier than the first settlers who ever settled if you know what I mean. Like uh... You already know what a dam does obviously. You know how to build one. Uh-oh. We have run into an issue. Oh, wait, maybe it's not that much of an issue. Oh, no, it's, it still seems to be... Oh, fuck! I did not! 
<laughs> just instantly like blah, 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 blah. you think a spacesuit would be like would operate a lot like a uh, diving suit but apparently that is not the case <clears throat> tell you what I'm gonna try a tricky remove ma maneuver here I don't know why they need a gate if they're the only ones here but oh yeah look at me super investigative explorer me has recently discovered in today's news how to be a bad ass I don't think there's anything over here they did a really good job of uh, putting things to scale and putting a lot of emptiness in the game so that you still feel like the need to explore but there's nothing there which is like a lot of people complain about it in a game like Fallout or something like that like an RPG this game is specifically meant to like give you that sense of aimlessness I suppose in terms of a lifeless planet like the only thing we're really guided to do is continue to discover what the story holds we don't honestly care about uh whether or not we find anything when we go climbing big things. Oh, please, not again. Please to be kind to me, please. Please be, please be kind. Please rewind. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh no. So what do I do here? This is a question I find myself asking a lot. I don't know if I can get up there. Oh, wait. There's a more. I also like that the game has consisted of a lot of jumping puzzles so far. Like, I. Obviously, nothing to the scale of some of the jumping puzzles in Guild Wars, but some jumping puzzles nonetheless. It's pretty. Um, I like those for some reason. I don't understand why, really, but it's nice. And it looks like we made it to a new area. So that is all the time I have for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being bad with me. Remember that failure is not the worst thing that can happen. And glow on with your bad selves. I will see you guys in the next episode. The next episode. Stay awesome. Oh, that hit me. That hit me. Really badly. You're gonna mock me for being... Okay, time to go. Time to go. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot. There... Why, are... Why is that alive? Did... I... I thought I killed it. Okay, so that's gone. Oh, oh! No, no, no! No! Okay, 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 you fucking fuck!